well, Ivan, you had basically almost a full strength side out there and you said you wanted them to continue on that upward trajectory. Did you feel like that happened today? Uh, not really. No. Well, yes and no. I, I thought there was, we just created chances everywhere and just, but I think we dropped the ball 17 times today. So, and that was not, wasn't included uh, knockdowns where there was probably try scoring situations as well. So, yeah, if you make 17 errors, if you make 17 errors, you're not going to beat a top eight side. Teething problems, but just kind of getting everyone back and on the same page. Yeah, maybe. And you know, I just think um, it's just one of those days. I just think we, you know, we had guys dropping the ball but normally wouldn't. And it just became um, contagious. So. <laughs> hmm. um, puts you level with Melbourne going into the final round. Mining premiership is is it important? Does it matter? What's the situation? That's sort of um, it will. Yeah, it's important. I think it's important. Yeah, I think it's a great achievement. You know, minor premierships to to be uh, to finish the you know four and four and against rounds, uh, not four and against home and away. There's not even such a thing anymore. But to finish the regular rounds on top uh, shows that you know you're the most consistent team throughout the year. So we we're certainly honoured to win it last year, and uh, I think anyone who wins it yeah should be congratulated. So having said that. Um, the most important thing at the moment is the finals. So uh, if it comes, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Would it affect selections or whether you rest blokes or anything? Like no, that? no, not at all. No, we, 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 we just we'll do what, what's best for, for us to get ready for the first week. So um, yeah, it's, it's not we won't make selections based on trying to get the minor premiership. What, what about um, Tavita and the impact that he had off the bench? I mean, how important is it getting a guy like him another weapon to have going into the finals? Yeah, well, that's why we got him here. Um, yeah, some good signs there today. Um, you know, it's only his second game in nine weeks and then the only second game for us too, so it's always going to take a little bit of time. So, um, yeah, it'd be good to get another game next week. Uh, but, yeah, it was... Uh, each, each, every time he trains with us, every time he plays, like it just gets that little bit, you know, clearer on his role and where he fits in. So, yeah. What about kick out, Ivan? Another a really good performance, and it's kind of sport for choice there with the back rowers you've got and the, the fact that you can bring kick off the bench. Why have you gone with that a couple of times? Um, yeah, we just uh, I don't know. We just thought we'd we'd give it a, give it a try, basically. So. Um, you know, Liam Martin's played some of his best footy off the bench as well this year um, at club and origin level. So, yeah, we have got some options there. I thought Kicks was, yeah, very good today, a threat with and without the ball, actually. So that's good news. What about Jerome Luai as well? He's come under a little bit of criticism for having a quieter back half of the season after his first origin series, but it was good today. Looked like he took the line on and scored that try and set up another one for Toto. Yeah, well, you know... Um, Romy's played his first Origin Series, so that's a huge achievement. Um, I think you know, historically you'll see some guys that um, have a, be a little bit flat after that. He also got injured, so did his knee uh, just after that as well, or before that, couldn't play Game Three, so took a bit, of, you know, a bit of time to come back. And then Nathan wasn't there, so yeah, it's good to see. Love to see him running today. That was that was really good signs. Um, so this, yeah, there were some positive, very a lot of positives today, but yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating as well. Nathan was filthy on himself after the game, but a, a, a nice milestone for him. He racked up a thousand points for the Panthers, only third player to do it behind Brandy and and uh, Ryan Girdler. A nice moment for him. Yeah, well, it's yeah, um, yeah. No, he's not yeah, overly happy with a couple of things he did today. So um, again, like he's he's still trying to find his way and. Um, but yeah, it's a nice milestone for him. But uh, yeah, I guess hopefully those points will keep racking up in the years to come.